when you knew Drizzy just to get through the video. Oh my gosh, so good. Are you gonna make it? If this Drizzy will last for all of these, I'll make it. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Melissa and Stephanie and today as promised we have a brand new thrift haul for you guys and it is quite large. Yeah, I think a lot of the stuff that I picked out was for the fall season so I don't know if this is our first fall thrift haul or whatnot, but before we start rambling, let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing that I picked up at the Savers Labor Day sale was this black bandana, super cute, only 50 cents, and I don't have a black bandana, and I was able to tie it around my neck just to see what it would look like, and I thought it looked really cute, and this was considered bed and bath, so it was half off. I also picked up a few scarves at Savers, and these were all half off. The first is this really cool, multicolored, very bright, very 70s? Let us know in the comments. Not sure about the time period. I thought it would be really cool also maybe for a Halloween costume, I'm not sure. But I just love the colors and it's really long. This one was $1. And then this one I picked up and I thought it would be really nice for punk. It has black roses or black flowers. I thought it was a really cool interpretation of like a flower but black. But like a darker. Yeah, it's really cool. The dark colors. Everything I usually get is very bright. Yeah. So this is kind of a difference. This one was also one dollar and I believe this one was the yeah the most expensive at two dollars but it is from Express and it still has the tag on it. A very nice floral. I thought it was modern but also retro at the same time. I really like the kind of stripe along like the edge of it. This is your floral. The and yeah. This is my floral. <laughs> you. Me. <laughs> so recently, I know this is going to sound strange, I've been on this like super bright kind of color kick. The whole like golf wang and the really bright vans that they did, the collaboration, and then just like, I don't know, I've, I've followed Tyler the Creator on Instagram and Golf Wang, and so I just see it and I'm like, that is so cool, but I don't really know if I can pull it off, and I'm not really sure if I want to invest in something that I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of, so right when I saw this, I was like, oh, I think like the kids are wearing things like this, so I should try it, or like this trend, and this is just a Liz Wear kind of like a coral and blue striped button down, pretty oversized. Very it's, oversized. It's pretty oversized. I was thinking of wearing it more as an outerwear or something like that, not, you know. But then again, I like wearing oversized tops. This was only $2 from Savers, and so I thought I could try out the whole bright colored type of trend that I see all these kids wearing, and if I don't like it, I only spent $2 on it. So the next thing I picked up was just a belt and it was $1.50, just a silver conch belt and it has some nice detailing on it. Punk has one, hers is extremely long yeah, and this one long. isn't as long, but I thought this could also be cool if I used it around a hat. Yeah. So you know I know there's, wear hats? yeah, but you do. So I was like, oh, that could be really cool because I see a lot of hats with the conch detail around them and they're so expensive yeah, and this was sure. only $1.50 to add it to a hat that you already have. Thought it was a great deal. So all of the next things that I'm going to share with you guys are from the Goodwill Saturday sale where everything is 50% off except seasonal stuff. So anything in the Halloween section. And I found this dress in the Halloween section, but it was $5 and that's technically okay. half of the cost of a dress at Goodwill. So I justified buying it even though it wasn't technically half off. And it's just Cooperative, which is from Urban, Outfit Urban Outfitters, and it's just this kind of mod-inspired um, grid dress. And I wanted so bad to try like the whole grid trend that was going on for a while, but I couldn't bring myself to spend a ton of money on it. So this is a way, once again, to try it out without spending too much money. And I thought also this might be cool as like a Halloween costume, maybe. maybe. We shall see, but if not, I will definitely get a lot of wear um, out of this during, you know, the winter months with like a really chunky knit cardigan or something like that and like leggings, 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 not leggings, tights or something. I don't know leggings. why I said leggings. I was like, leggings? If we ever hear leggings come out of my, my mouth, it's not okay. So for $5, I thought this was super cool. 
So I also found another Ringer tea at Savers, and this one was in the kids section. This was $2. I really liked the color combo on this shirt, and I thought it would be really cool if I put a patch on it. I don't know if any of you guys saw Unif recently dropped their fruit teas, which yeah, sold out in minutes. minutes. And I thought this could be cool if I added some kind of patch detail on I it. I'm not either. sure. I wish it had like some kind of embroidery on the front. <laughs> this one really reminds me of a summer camp. Yeah, the color sure. combo. So the next thing Melissa found for me, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't need any more denim. And then she's like, check these out. These are so sick. And they're these Kendall and Kylie size zero bell, bell bottoms. I hope you guys can see that. Fit like a glove. I have two other pairs of bell bottoms, one by Free People, which is a little snug, and the other one that I was thinking of taking to the tailor because they were a little big, but forget those. These are going to be my go-to for fall. And I know some people are totally against bell bottoms, but... And I know I'm short, and so I may not pull them off the best, but I just, I really want to try this trend out. And so these were $4. I really want to track down the price on these or what they were originally, because I know Kendall and Kylie's like fairly, I want to say new. I have sun and pack sun. Oh, yeah. A bit pricey. A bit pricey, but I also love the braided detail because you guys know me, I love wearing jeans and then just like kind of blouses tucked into the jeans. So it's a nice detail that you'll be able to see. I will have to hem them just a slight bit, not too much. I think we went to six, five or six Goodwills. Think it was six. We hit up a lot of them. There were some that were just straight up duds. Yeah. So you guys saw Punk's denim bells, and now here's what I will be wearing this fall cream, silk, trousers. I never actually look through the pants at Goodwill because I never find anything and I just happened to see these and I was like, oh, those look really interesting. I'm going to try them on. They fit really well, are a bit long, but I can get away with it if I wear my little kitten heels. I love this color. I love the silk on it. These were what? I think these are $4? $3.50. Even better. So this next piece that I got, I was looking for something similar to the Zara Woman patchwork suede skirt that they have in stock right now. It's amazing. I can't allow myself to spend $70 on a skirt. Like, that's absurd. So it, when I saw it, I was like, I can find something similar, similar um, to that at the thrift store. And so I don't know how similar this is, but right when I saw it, I was like, this is so oh, awesome. Like, it's so like, cool. this is so similar. It's just this leather and suede kind of patchwork, but the patchwork is vertical. It is a little bit big, but I was going for, or what I'm thinking, imagining in my head is like a really oversized knit turtleneck sweater, but cropped. Mm. I don't know where I'm gonna find that, but that's what I was like envisioning with my over the knee boots. So that might be coming at you soon. We shall see. It's still pretty warm outside, but for $2.50, I was like, it's similar to the Zara one in a way, but at the same time, it's not, but I couldn't leave it behind. So I picked up two more casual tops. The first is a gray ringer tee. I've had such good luck finding ringer All of a tees sudden. now that I know what they're called. Yeah. So thank you guys for letting me know because once you let me know, I found a bunch of them. Yeah. And then I found this striped t-shirt. Just like Stephanie said, I've really been also loving the really bright colors. And this one is just a polo. I think they cut the tag out of it. it Orange. <laughs> orange and white color combo that I really love. I think I said in the last haul that I really appreciate orange. Yeah. So I thought this one was really nice. And, and this you one to wear the silk trousers. Oh yeah, this is my look with the silk trousers, guys. I think this will look really good with a navy shoe. Yeah, something like a cool like that. Yeah. So this next uh, blouse, it's Ralph though. So I think I mentioned in our previous two hauls that I'm really into browns for this fall and I have quite a few brown oh, items and I don't usually like the color You're brown. usually black. I'm like anti Strictly yeah. black. Yeah, I, it's all brown. It's all brown. But this one is so poor. When I saw this, I was like, I know I want that. And it's just this Ralph Lauren satin blouse 
with the cream stripes, the vertical stripes, and the cream collar. I just thought this looked really sophisticated, but at the same time, I could pair it with a pair of distressed, baggier jeans for a casual but put-together look, and this was only three dollars. It wasn't yeah. even better quality or Surprising. anything, so I was so happy with this. I just can't wait. It's luxurious. That's your luxurious piece, and I had the luxurious trousers. That will look good with my trousers. Mm -hmm. So I just found out that this top that I purchased was a Halloween costume, so it was not 50% off. I didn't actually find it. Punk found it, and you did not find it in the Halloween costume, so I'm kind of like low-key bummed, but I still love this top. And it is gold, very nice for a holiday 2015. It has a high neckline. This top actually caused a fight at the thrift store between the two of us. Not gonna get into it, but somebody, you know, got a bit mad that I said I wanted the top after she found it. What's new? She's always taking my stuff. So this next top is a bit oversized, but you guys know me. I'm all about the oversized feel and the oversized fit. It has this really lovely, gorgeous embroidery. Once again, that nice bright orange color on it. And it's a heavy cotton. It's very heavy. So this will be better when it cools down a bit because it's humid outside. And if I wore this, I would be drenched. Yeah, this would be like, not even, it would just be covered in this <laughs> So this next piece that I picked up I had actually seen before on just a regular day and I wasn't going to spend $6 on it so when I saw it on the 50% off sale day I decided to go ahead and pick it up and it's just this vertical, 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 what? Horizontal, long sleeve, top, reds, kind of like a uh, cafe latte browns in there. I don't know how else to describe the color. Maybe it's tan, uh, blacks, and then it has, we are calling this kind of like ascot-ish down the front because it's not a bow and it's removable. It's a little bit oversized, which is what I like about it. Like Melissa said, she likes oversized things. I also like oversized things. I want to wear this with like a black skirt. I know that. I'm not sure if I want to crop it yet or not. We shall see. But I just loved the colors for fall. I thought it was just like a perfect kind of pop of red, which I mean my wardrobe needs because it's basically all brown right now. So I have a few more items to share. The first, very quickly, a beige floral 100% silk long sleeve button down. It has some obnoxious, extremely obnoxious shoulder pads that I do need to take out. I tried it on with the shoulder pads and at a certain time that would have looked really good but to modernize it I have to take it out and this was just three dollars. So I also picked up a pair of shoes at Savers and they are these Westies beige as well mules except they have a little strap on the back of them which is great because I have two pairs of mules and I never wear them because I feel like how do your feet stay in mules? Like if I'm running around really fast, my feet are gonna slip out of them like when you wear your Burks. Your feet are always slipping out. The comparison between mules and me wearing my Burks? <laughs> that was really low. <laughs> and these were only $3, so I thought I'd give them a shot. I really love this color too. So the last pickup of the day is actually the first thing I found, and it is this ruby bomber jacket looks like silk but it's actually polyester i think the pockets on it are really cool i think it's something that is still really modern a lot of people mm -hmm. are doing that right now and it reminded me of the louis vuitton silk bomber jackets that they're doing with the louis vuitton on the back of it i think it would be really cool if i took this somewhere and got something embroidered on the back of it maybe my name i don't know I thought that would be really cool. And this was only, I think, four, your four last dollars. Name. Yeah, my last name. That would be really cool. Yeah, four bucks. I'm a sucker for a bomber jacket. I saw this ruby red from far away and I was like, oh, what is that? It's drawn in immediately. So that has been our first fall thrift haul. We hope you guys enjoyed. I think next week we're moving our calendar around a bit and we are going to do a thrift lookbook next Friday. So stay tuned for that. And then the Friday after that, we will bring you guys our 
highly anticipated, well, at least in our minds, in our, mind, our fall lookbook, which is going to be more of a visual lookbook. So think back to our summer looks video. It's not going to be like outfit. Top. Bottom. Okay. Shoe. Okay. It's going to be more visual. If you guys did enjoy this thrift haul, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to our channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified when we do upload these upcoming videos. And if you want to see our lives outside of the world of YouTube, you can always follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. We hope you guys all enjoy this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.